Hello, baby. <laughs> I just had to put in the teeth like my brother wears. He needs some dental work. I got the good teeth. Just call me Solid Gold. I am Solid Gold tonight, baby. Are y'all ready to groove? Are you ready to get your groove back? Are you ready to groove? How Stella got her groove back. How Vicky got her groove back. How Betty got her groove back. Who needs that old nasty Jack? Just call me Solid Gold. All right, we've got somebody here that's going to assist me. Let me see if she's in the house. Her name is a lot of my lover. A lot of my lover. Yes, is a lot of my lover there yet? You there? Oh, now a lot of my lover. You got to be at your station. Hello, everybody. It's happy juice time. Happy juice. A lot of my lover. The spy that shagged me. <laughs> Y'all need to put the kids to bed. This is rated T for truth tonight. We are all adults here. If you can't be an adult and you got that judgmental heart and that judgmental attitude and you don't want to lighten up and laugh and have some fun while you lose some weight, you need to go on somewhere else because we're going to loosen up and have some fun. Where you at, a lot of my lover? I'm waiting on you. Got to say hey to the people. Where's you at? A lot of my lover, always late, but it's okay. It's okay. Just call me Solid Gold, baby. Little happy juice tonight. Woo wee! I'm gonna have to get my. You're echoing, baby. Because I got all my love. Let me fix that. <laughs> Woo! We're going to be dancing tonight, a lot of my love, when we get out of here. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to Groove, the Groove Challenge. This is a five day challenge that really extends for seven days. Rules will be similar. We'll go over them. But you know what I say, baby? Rules were made to break. Can I get an amen? Rules were made to break. This ain't none of that Jack's challenge. No, no, no. Rules are made to break, darling. <laughs> Woo, we've got Liberty up here in the house tonight. We've got Liberty. We shall not be enslaved by anything. We've got Liberty in all things. Baby, we're going to have some fun. Life is short. We are. We have. I gotta get. <laughs> what happened, a lot of my lover? You have chimed in. I was. Am I not? Can you not still hear me now? I can. There's an echo, echo, echo. Oh, it must still be. Maybe it's the way my computer is set up. I won't be doing a lot of talking or seeing because I, my got an eye infection going on still. So, uh, but next week I'm gonna be here side by side with Austin. But I am here to answer questions. So I'm gonna hide myself. I'll awesome. mute myself I'm here. I am solid gold, baby. Solid gold, baby. Sorry about that. I was used to talking to Austin all week, preparing for this thing. So, um, <laughs> rough. he has bad teeth. My name is Solid Gold. All right, oh. y'all. We're gonna have we're gonna have a good time. This is gonna be a party. We can do anything. Like we're gonna have to mute it, baby. A lot of my lover. We can do anything for one week. Can I get a witness out there in the solid go house tonight? We can do anything for one week. We're going to get our groove back. This little challenge is no challenge at all. Because when you're having fun in life, you keep your mind off of those things that you feel are sacrifices. These are not sacrifices. Getting up each and every day and eating breakfast for the father, lunch for the son, and dinner for the Holy Spirit. Getting to a place where we look good naked, baby. How many of y'all want to look good naked? Raise your hand. If you lie about that, you will lie about anything. Y'all need to get ready for next week. And before I even give you a meal plan, you need to get you out some Yacht Rock. You need to get you out some Michael McDonald. Keep forgetting. <laughs> You need to get out them BGs. You need to get out that good, good music. Get them good vibes going and just sit back and relax and don't even be thinking about any food. 
Just think about the summer and how good you're going to look half naked out there on that beach. Just think about it. All the good things that we can accomplish over the course of one week, getting that momentum, getting our groove back, dancing and burning some calories. Oh, yeah, baby. It doesn't matter if you can dance or not. Ain't nobody watching you anyway. You know, part of my story before I come so become solid gold was back in the day, I wouldn't dance. I wouldn't get my big hunk of chunk on no dance floor because I was afraid everybody was watching me. That's when I had the ego. That's when I was arrogant. Little did I know, wasn't nobody watching me. They was watching themselves and I missed out on all that fun. Let your hair down. What does it matter if anybody's making fun of you or paying you any attention? It don't matter. You can be the envy of all just having fun. Quit the mully grubs, get off the pity potty. Some of us here has got so many emotional hemorrhoids, you hurt all the time in your soul and in your spirit, talking about what you can't do instead of focusing on what you can do. You could be eating right and losing the weight and dancing and having the fun and listening to Michael McDonald. And you know, I hate to digress, but I'm solid gold. I ain't in a hurry to do nothing. That Michael McDonald, boy, that's one sexy man, ain't it? Y'all, y'all like his voice. I love some Michael McDonald. Anytime that I'm a struggle on my appetite, I just put on some Michael McDonald or Michael Bolton and just relax. Boy, that's some good stuff. That is some sexy men right there. Solid gold. Solid gold. That's call me solid gold. Michael McDonald, Joanna. You don't know no Michael McDonald. Oh, my goodness. No Michael McDonald's fans in here. What are we doing? What in the world are we doing? Goodness gracious. What is this about? Michael McDonald. Wait just a minute. We got to do this. We got to do this. This wouldn't even be cool if we didn't do this. Oh, my goodness. Michael McDonald. Let's see what we got here. Let, check this out. Let's see if we can get it on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Woo, we're going to have fun next week. I keep forgetting when I Yeah, that's some good stuff right there. That's some Michael McDonald. Woo We're going to have a good week listening to that yacht rot and losing weight. All right, I got you a challenge to go over. Very similar to all the ones we've done before. There's going to be extra support, extra accountability from yours truly, Solid Gold. If you send me a message and you say, Solid, can I have this? And I look at the meal plan and it's not on the meal plan. I'm going to laugh and I'm just going to say, you go on with your bad self and be a rule breaker. You might not lose much weight, but you can be a rule breaker in my book, baby. This is all about self-love and self-care and you loving where you are right now. We do, and we're not doing any of that Jack stuff. Jack's coming back. Did y'all see the challenge? Jack is coming back uh, in May. Did y'all see the May? The May challenge, the survivor challenge? Jack is coming back with a vengeance, just like Survivor. People will be voted off the island. It's going to be fun. Jack will be there, and then y'all can y'all can be all uptight and try to follow them rules. But here, this is up to you. This is up to you, baby. If you want to get your groove back, what do you do? You follow the rules. If you don't care too much about your groove and you're happy with your big end where it is, just shake it, girl. Shake it. It's not that dress making your butt look big. It's your butt making your butt look big. So enjoy that thing and shake it. Just shake it like a Polaroid picture. Enjoy it. My goodness. Some of us, I get done with my prelude to the challenge in just a minute. Some of us, we've been waffling in that lukewarm area. You know, we don't even need... Some of you need to quit trying to lose weight altogether and just put yourself, put your arms around and just kiss on yourself. Kiss on yourself right where you are. Enjoy your life. How, how long have you not been enjoying your life worried about losing some weight? If you haven't lost weight, 
Baby, it's because you haven't wanted to lose weight. It's not because of your thyroid. It's not because of your genetics. It's because you like food and you eat too much. You bathe in it every single day. That's on you, baby. Why are you complaining about it? Oh, don't be telling solid gold. Well, I broke. I don't have no money. Then how did you get that big? <laughs> you know, big is beautiful as far as I'm concerned. I was big one time and I was beautiful. We're all beautiful in the eyes of the Lord. There's no reason to be down on ourselves and on our flesh. Not at all. We need to love ourselves. But what do we do? Somebody tells us, well, you're a little high on the BMI and you need to get that under control. Or I'm going to have to put you on some blood pressure medicine. Or say, you, you chose it. Embrace it. You got freedom. I actually admire those people that they just love themselves right where they at. And they don't care nothing about losing no weight. They just happy all the time. You know, you know any big people that's happy? I do. They got some confidence and they happy. I just want people to love themselves. I go to the dance floor with anybody. I love it. I just want people to be love, to show love, love and joy and enjoy themselves. Don't you want to enjoy yourself? Why are you, why are you always fighting this battle? You either do it or you don't do it. What's the big deal? There is nobody here that don't know how to lose weight. Now you can lose it right with our plan or you can lose it wrong. But everybody knows in order to get rid of the jiggly, itchy fat, let me shake my fat at you. <laughs> Woo! Everybody knows to get rid of the fat, you just quit eating so much. So apparently you like to eat. I don't know why you get upset about it. Now, do we have anybody though that you happy? Look, you're happy. You're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and da 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 How are you happy? Are y'all happy? If you're ha look, if you're if you're happy with where you at, quit worrying about it. You're gonna get a new body in heaven, anywho. Quit worrying about it. Quit beating yourself up over it. Just go ha be happy. If you're not happy and it's because you ain't happy with yourself and what you see in the mirror, then go all in. Just go all in. Do what you're supposed to do. Fix it. Almost everybody here can fix it in less than six months. And some of you, you carry around a little more energy than that. And it might take you a year. But that's no big deal. Time is going to pass whether you do this or not. So with the passage of time, do you want to wind up looking like solid gold? Or do you want to stay where you at? But what's really hard on the ears of all the people around you is when you constantly, I can't lose weight. It's so hard. I can't afford it. I don't have no time. I don't have no support. Nobody loves me. Wipe the tear from my eye. Oh, Lord, has anybody got any preparation H? My emotional hemorrhoids are showing again because I won't get off the pity body. <laughs> it's time. It's time. Decide. Now, before I get into the challenge and solid gold, waste any time on people that ain't happy. Do I have some happy folks ready to lose some weight? You ready to get your groove back? Are you ready? Let's do it. Can you do anything for a week with a smile on your face? There is no negativity. What we're looking for in the group is outlandish, outlandish positivity. That's right, shake it, baby. Darla says, shake it, baby. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. You can do anything for a week without land. Hey, Sasha, will you do me a favor, baby? I'm sorry. A lot of my love. Yeah. <laughs> you come in here, a lot of my love. That thing is squeaking. The strobe light. We'll, we'll turn the strobe light back on and throw ourselves a party when this challenge is over. Sorry about that. I couldn't. I was afraid I might trip on the light, lights. Yeah. Thank you, a lot of my lover. Solid gold and a lot of my love. I love it. All right. So you can do anything for one week. 
And you can do it with a smile on your face. And you can do it with a shake in your booty. We're going to be dancing. I don't want to hear no negativity. I don't want to hear getting on the scales and, oh, the scales didn't go down yesterday. We're not doing that, are we, baby? No. We're not doing that. Is everybody still in so far? You still in so far? Now, we've got some extra accountability. Solid Gold is going to be dancing all week with you. You're going to be able to text me, ask me about them meals, make sure they're on point. I'm going to give you my heart and soul because Solid Gold loves to have a good time. All right? So let's get into this. There's a lot to talk about. First of all, when in doubt, when in doubt, there are some components that we must follow when in doubt. So before we go over the buffet here at the Solid Gold House, before we go over that, if something, if you get in a, in a pickle, if you get in a pickle and you're not sure what to do, we adhere in that moment to the bulletproof shield. So let's make sure we all know the bulletproof shield. How much water we need to drink every day, brothers and sisters. That's right, half a gallon up to one gallon of water a day. Goes without saying, can I have other zero calorie beverages during the groove challenge? That's right, baby, you sure can. You sure can. You can have that coffee. You can have that unsweet tea. You can have that spark. You can have that happy juice. Can't have beverages with calories. Don't ask. The solid gold will say, what? You go on with yourself, you rule breaker. I'm not going to tell you what you can and can't do. That's depending upon your goals. We'll let Jack do that. Solid gold's got too much... Uh, too much planned for himself to have a good time. Last thing I want to be doing is trying to talk you out of eating a cookie. You either got goals or you don't. Your response to temptation is very simple. You don't need all this personal development stuff. Everybody, let me show you how to lose weight. You are offered a cookie. Everybody do this with me. Move your head to the right. Move your head to the left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. That's the program. Say no. You an adult. You got yourself in this condition. You don't want to get out of it. Go on and break the rule. I'm going to be here to party with those people who want to get the job done. Next, we got a journal. You know you got a journal. When you live a life like solid gold, a beautiful life like I do, you want it recorded. You want a record. You want a record of all that fun that you had in life and how every situation you overcame. I got Bob Seger's song. We was a running against the wind like a rock. Boy, that's some good music back in the day, wasn't it? So we want a record of this wonderful life we've lived so that we can refer back during those times of unhappiness. And when we get off the tracks, we get off the rails, we can refer back and see what was working for us in times of happiness and in times of leanness, in times of looking good naked. You bite it, you ride it, you hog it, you log it. The day that you don't journal, if you don't get it caught up within 48 hours, what does the system do to you in the channeling system, everybody? Mama said, knock you out. Mama said, knock you out. Tap out. That's right. You is tapped out. You is tapped out. Just like in that urban cowboy movie when John Travolta tapped that sucker out. Next, when in doubt. I'm giving you meal ideas right off the solid gold menu, the same stuff I'm going to do and I'm going to record for you each and every day so you know solid gold is in it with you. I'm going to be in it with you, baby. We're going to have some fun. But when in doubt, food combinations, control insulin. 
want you to go buy the meal idea so you can get some real momentum. But if not, if you're in doubt, follow those combination rules. Portions. How many eating episodes can we have a day? Up to. What does up to mean? Some people don't understand the word up, the words up to. No more than three. If solid gold is trying to detox, I got my shirts all messed up here. It's bothering me, baby. <clears throat> if I'm trying to detox, I don't eat when I'm not hungry. Detox is about rest, reset, and recovery of the digestive system. So up to three eating episodes. We need to portion control them. What's the portion rule? You can do anything for one week, y'all, well, anything. Fasting is beautiful. I like it, Sheila. It sure is. Two-hand rule. Boom. Unless otherwise stated in the meal plan. You can also, you can always trust your two-cup portion control bowl. You can always trust your six to eight inch plate. That's your bulletproof shield. It's meant to keep you safe on the dance floor of life. Timing. How many of you have successfully achieved a 16 hour fast more than 10 days this year? You all are assigned a 16 hour fast each day with an eight hour eating window to get through the one week challenge. Is that understood, darlings? Is that understood, my, my darlings, my beautiful people? I can't wait till y'all come to St. Augustine and meet me. Can we, when y'all come to St. Augustine and we celebrate your success on a weekend when we do a weekend seminar, Will y'all dance with Solid Gold and a lot of my lover? Would y'all come and dance with us? Wouldn't that be a lot of fun? We all dress up, have some fun, and start enjoying life. See, if we get our mind off trying to lose weight all the time, it'll go, time will go by fast, won't it? Y'all have to come. We have to boogie, 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 boogie. If you've not had a 16-hour fast 10 or more days a year, you are assigned a minimum of a 12-hour fast. Is that understood? If you're not familiar with the discipline it takes to engage in a 16-hour fast, you have to engage with a 12-hour fast minimum. Everybody good with that? Any questions about that part? All this will be in your class notes tomorrow. Solid Gold will take care of you tomorrow. You're going to have every link you need. Any of y'all ever got my class notes before? It ain't pretty, but they're very thorough, aren't they? I work hard for my money. Do, 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 do. Work hard for my money. Do, 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 do. Everything we're talking about is going to be in them notes. But if you have questions, it's a good time to get them answered. All right, everybody got that. Next, there will be exercise. Of course, you can dance and get your steps, but you got to get your steps. So here's the assignment. If you are incapable of walking, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. You can exclude yourself from the steps. Everybody that is able to walk you must get over 10,000 steps each day. If you're gonna participate in this challenge, unless you are physically unable, you must get more than 10,000 steps a day. Everybody got that? You can do it. You can do it. You can get a lot of those steps just turning on some Michael McDonald and dancing, little BGs. So those are the basic rules. Let's look at our meal plan. Let's look at how we are going to blow torch some bat, uh, fat and get our 
groove back. And boy, are we going to get our groove back. All right. Pay special attention to what I say and how I say this. Sasha, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Out of character. A lot of Maleva. You can, uh, if you've got the PowerPoint, you can put those links there if they want to get a jump start. Supplementation. Now listen carefully before y'all go eight dookie on me. I can already hear the brain farts. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna engage with the four pillars of wellness. Number one, and they work for everyone. Number one, faith, faith in God. Whoever your God is, whoever you call on, you call on yours. That is a requirement to draw nigh to your God. If your God, unless your God is spaghetti. And then for one week, you can't draw nigh to the spaghetti God. I shall draw nigh to my God. My God is Jesus Christ. The God of enduring and everlasting mercy. That's my God. And I am not ashamed. I hope you're not ashamed of your God. If you've got food on the throne tonight, no wonder you're not dancing and enjoying life. If you've got food and judgment and pity, self-pity on the throne, how about commanding it in the name of Jesus to get up off the throne and allow God to take over that throne again? Why not do that and see what changes? I'm not talking about that God that everyone acts as like some gray-headed old man in the, in the cloud. of my infirmities that's the one i'm serving ding 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 so that's the first pillar of wellness that's the first pillar of wellness second pillar is good nutrition what we're going to be doing the, the menu that we're going to be consuming is going to control insulin and leave us in a calorie deficit and a lot of that'll work do your best and a lot of just do your best it's a do your best challenge Long as you dance, long as you get, long as you, well, long as you shake it like a Polaroid picture in the privacy of your own home all next week, and you, you, you are commanded to listen to some good upbeat music, every one of them. So good nutrition. Next, exercise. We're covering that with our walk or whatever exercise you're doing. I'll continue with my normal exercise plan. These days, I've been doing jujitsu but I'll have to walk with you all. So I'll start incorporating walking again. I lost my Fitbit. I had to get me another Fitbit. But we're gonna walk and do any other bonus exercises we need to do. Then there's supplementation. We gotta fill those nutrient deficiencies. Before you go, go crazy on me, listen, it's an asterisk. There's an asterisk. Supplementation is mandatory. I want you to see the benefits of doing it all for one week. However, I am not going to run anybody off who doesn't do the supplements. Does everybody understand? I just wanted to put emphasis on that. I don't think I would be an honorable person to require people to take supplements and, and then to look you in the eye and tell you that I'll meet you where you're at. But I will be taking the supplements. It's time for another detox for me. It's time for another metabolic boost for me. Now listen carefully how we've structured the challenge. It's one week at a time. It's one week at a time, baby. One week at a time. But I'm going to be going for a minimum of 24 days. But you'll be able to break it up for those of you that's got things coming up and you don't want to fail. You'll be able to do it one week at a time. I'm going to do this for the next basically four weeks. Is that part understood? But it'll be, you'll have to sign up each time you're doing it. This is a four, four different challenges, getting your groove back one week at a time. It will start Monday, the first round starts Monday, the second round, the following Monday. 
bear with me, I'm going to go over all this. And you'll get it in class notes. If you're doing the detox, the detox, this particular one is for five days. Now, listen very, very carefully. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we are focused on faith. We're focused on faith and very restrictive eating. Monday for the Father, Tuesday for the Son, and Wednesday for the Holy Spirit. Would y'all do that for me? In your heart, will you get up, and before you think about your day or think about anything else, you'll need to do a devotion or watch my devotion if you couldn't be live. Do your own. I'm, I'm not trying to lead a devotion. I don't believe that we need anybody to teach us but the Holy Spirit but I'm going to send devotions and then that's more of a signal for you to engage in your own devotion. But we're going to put emphasis on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of eating unto God. We're going to eat unto the Lord and we're going to start to establish momentum. Are y'all with me? Momentum. I mean, it's, uh, if you could even call this hard, it's a fast dance Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We're going all in. Thursday and Friday, I hope that you'll remain all in. Saturday and Sunday, you can do your regular Shibboleth program. Does that make sense? You don't have to do regular Shibboleth, but if you need to on the weekend, you may. We're making mandatory with an asterisk. If you're doing the detox, minimally you need the 10-day reset kit with the fiber. A lot of Malava, if you can give that link for those that want to get a jump start and post it there, that would be great. A lot of Malava. I'm doing the 24 day program. I'm going to do 10 days of detox and then 14 days of a metabolic boost. So I don't want y'all to get confused when I send the videos. You'll have journal videos and you're gonna ask me what I'm doing when you see me doing things you're not doing. But I'm gonna live my life in front of y'all and hopefully motivate you to do what I do. It's helped me get down to this morning, 189 pounds. And I am six foot three of hunk. No longer hunk a chunk, baby. <laughs> so you've got the 24 day program that has your detox portion and your metabolic boost portion. They both serve a purpose. Now, if you're only doing the detox, you don't need the 24-day kit. Is that clear? I don't want anybody wasting a single penny. Happens every time when folks don't ask or listen. You're grooving, baby. Sometimes you miss things because y'all grooving. The 24-day kit has my cleanse kit in it, my spark, my meal replacement shake, my AdvoCare Delta, everything I need to get me through 24 complete days. Any questions about the detox kit or the 24 day kit before we speed up and start getting into meal ideas? One of the reasons I don't charge, we've charged for challenges in the past, a nominal fee. One of the reasons we don't charge is I don't want anybody to have to pay for a challenge and then try to get all this supplementation and stuff like that too. It's too much. So I want you, if you, if you rather than give us a, the money, let's get what you need 
to do the challenge the right way because you're going to be putting forth max effort. A lot of my lover, will you put that both of those links with a short description? One will say 10 day, one will say 24 day. You don't need both. Does all the detox have the spark in them? It does, but you can simply go uh, or you can you can tell a lot of my lover, that's Sasha, aka Sasha, what you're wanting to do, and she can give you that link. If you're just wanting to do the detox, she can give you a direct link to that. Awesome, Betty. That'll be great. Since you've already done a detox, no need in doing it again unless you just want to. Two rounds of five-day detox. So for two weeks, yes. This time, instead of me doing it 10 days straight, I'm getting my groove back. I don't let me let me be honest with you, baby. I'm a rule breaker. I don't like do I would do the detox more often and I need to if it weren't 10 days straight. Is anybody else in that same boat? I don't do it as much as I should because 10 days straight, it's just too much for solid gold. So I've done it recently and liked it a lot. I'm going to do five days, but now after my five days, there's 10 days worth of product there. After my five days, I don't want to ruin the, the effort that I've made. I can't take the weekend and hog trough it. Does that make sense, everyone? I still have to eat fairly clean. And then that Monday, I get right back and I do another five days. You can do 10 days straight or you can do what I'm going to be doing. Okay? All right. If there's more questions on that, we'll handle it as we go. If you're drinking the fiber packet, here's the most palpable way to get it in. I either mix the fiber packet with ocean spray diet, as much liquid as I want, or with spark, and I throw in three cubes of ice and I ninja blend it. Woo and it's delicious, very enjoyable. Sometimes I do not even eat a breakfast because the fiber fills me up so much. In the cleanse kit, you will see probiotic restore. This is to replenish the good bacteria. You'll take those capsules as directed in the morning on an empty stomach. In this cleanse kit, you also have the herbal tablets that help you go poo-poo. We won't go poo-poo. It does not have a laxative effect. This is the best cleanse I've ever done. And being in nutrition for 20 years, I've done a lot of them. And the ones that even worked a little caused a laxative effect. This one does not. So the herbal tablets, a glass of water on an empty stomach before bed. Now, let's look at our very versatile detox meal plan. Are y'all ready? Patricia, that'll be fine, sweet sister. I want to see Patricia. How I many of y'all would just love to see Patricia Hurt get jiggy with it and dance on the dance floor? I can't wait till we have our first meeting down here. I'd love to see that beautiful red-headed woman dance. Would you dance? You would Lee let you dance with me? Could you and I boogie, Patricia? I bet she can get jiggy with it. That would be a sight to behold. Me and her get on that dance floor if she'd let me. I love to dance. You know why I love to dance? Because I used to wouldn't dance. Shame to myself. I ain't no more. All right, breakfast. Here's your options. Remember, again, it's only how long? You can do any. I want you to hear my voice over and over. You can do anything for one week. Challenge yourself. For breakfast, you can eat air. You can just eat air. 
Boy, my neck muscles is too big. <laughs> Cocky thing. So eat air. Or you can have outstanding lion's mane coffee so that you have brain power like solid gold. Four Sigmatic coffee with or without Coco Ringa. Four Sigmatic coffee with or without Health Wise Hot Chocolate. I mix the two. That slows any blood sugar impact down, folks. Health Wise Hot Chocolate with or without Coco Ringa. Health Wise Hot Chocolate with or without Bio Coffee. Bio Coffee with or without Health Wise Hot Chocolate. Bio Coffee with or without Coco Ringa. One to two packages of HealthWise oatmeal, one to two packages of AHS pancakes. Kettle and Fire bone broth, zero fat variety. They have bone broths that are full of fat. Where it says zero fat, it must be that one. Remember, this is a detox meal plan. The detox meal plan is to rest, recover, that let that digestive system rest and recover. Does everybody understand the point of a detox. That liver needs to do a dump. And you have to relax that, that digestive system. Yes, you can have regular black coffee. I just put, again, if, if y'all want to be a rule breaker, baby, you can do it. Here's the thing. Every challenge, how many times do we hear people wanting to add all the Shibola food, but the very reason you come to a challenge is because you wanted it to be tough, right? If we add everything, then it's, it's Shibola, then you might as well be satisfied with that. So again, all zero calorie beverages are approved and that includes coffee. These are actually things that I will be using as meal ideas. I will count this as a meal episode. Back to it. One or two packs of HealthWise oatmeal, one or two packs of AHS pancakes, AdvoCare Spark by itself, simply because I do that, really not advocating that you do that. I've gotten where I eat very little. I, I can't believe my life. It's awesome as far as my eating lifestyle. I just food, been there, done that. I have a great relationship with food now. It no longer sits on the throne. God does. AdvoCare Spark with a quarter cup of berries because I like that. I like to slice me up some strawberries quite a few and put in my strawberry spark in the morning. I love that. And even though that's a freebie, I, I just have it as an eating episode. So I knew this question would come. Sheila says, a new person's asking, how do we do this without buying all this food? You focus on the things that you can have, that you don't have to go out and buy. These are not options that you go out and buy. I'm not, and when I get done, I'm going to ask everybody, is there anybody that doesn't see at least three items? How much breakfast variety do you need in a week? I would suggest that if you're doing a challenge, even though we have thousands of options on regular Shibola, you only need three or four breakfast ideas to get through one week. Am I wrong? Solid gold is not Jack. I'm open to suggestions. Do, I don't think you need much more than that. So we're not going to go buy all this stuff. I put stuff that works. Do you want to lose 10 pounds in a week, up to 10 pounds in a week or not? Okay. So then we come over here and uh, let's find, you'll see some grocery food start to emerge. You can do a half a cup of berries with one to two tablespoons of very sweet hemp flakes for breakfast. You could do a grapefruit. Sarah, I said that I'm making it mandatory that people do the supplement supplements, but I put an asterisk on it in a fun way, meaning you don't have to do the supplements. I just want people to get good, consistent results. And if you go back and look at old challenges, you will see that people that do the supplements Typically, not every challenge, but typically well outperform those that don't. The start date is Monday. All right, I'm going to stick with this for a minute because I think a lot of these questions will be cleared up in your class notes to, so that people can leave out of here and go to bed. 
All right, I'll stay with you over time. I just got to get everybody else out of here that wants to get out. A grapefruit, egg whites cooked in MCT oil or Pam cooking spray, egg whites with an apple, egg whites with an orange, egg whites with a half a cup of berries, egg whites with one, one to three tablespoons of very sweet hemp flakes, an AdvoCare meal replacement shake or a Beverly UMP shake. So for a breakfast, does every, and Gina, I meant to, I've got a note to tell you when we get done with the meal planning, I know you're a vegan or mostly a vegan. There are going to be plenty of vegan options when I send that out. I'm trying to accommodate everyone. And then when I send it out, if you need some other vegan options, just email me and I'll work with you. Is everybody good here? Does everybody see two or three items that they can do for one week at breakfast? Now, if you don't follow this, here's the expectation. If you don't follow this and you don't get me to approve it, you got to tap out. Is that understood? Listen to how liberal that is. Do not do what some do. Do not eat it and then ask me if you can have it. That I'm getting out of character. That drives me crazy. Would that drive y'all crazy? Can I have this? And then I say no, and they go, whoops. That drives me crazy. This is a challenge. If you can't get permission to eat it before you eat it, you should not eat it. And if you eat it anyway, you should tap out because it's a one-week challenge that costs you nothing. Is that understood? And then try again the next week. The idea is to keep trying until you can complete a full week. This is a try for thing. The name of the challenge is get your groove back. It's about getting momentum again. Have some fun with me, please. I'm gonna give you my heart, my soul. I'm going to be having to dress up like solid gold and do short videos every day talking about these great meal ideas. I'm going to work my arse off for y'all while I shake it. I need you to work yours off for me. I think that's fair. Do you? If not, speak or forever hold your peace. One more time. Did everybody see... Enough there, if you're doing the detox, this is the detox portion. Did everybody see enough that you can get through one week of the detox? If you're not doing the detox, I got another meal plan for you. Lunch, eat air, or any of the breakfast options are included. A third of a hemp bar is added. One to two pack packages of any health wise high protein soup. AHS mac and cheese, AHS fettuccine, two packages of AHS cheesesteak pasta. All of this is designed for people who are trying to control blood sugar and have to eat minimal amounts. A lot of these foods were designed for people who have had bariatric surgery. High protein to preserve muscle, easy on digestion. That's why they're here. A half up to one cup of berries or apple slices with, with one to three tablespoons of hemp flakes. One tablespoon of nuts and more peanut butter with one heaping handful of fiber gourmet biscotti. A mighty muffin. Can you find a mighty muffin at grocery stores? Yeah, you can. Wendy's chili. A small Wendy's chili with or without fiber gourmet crackers. Chick-fil-A, 12 grilled chicken nuggets by themselves because it's a challenge. Mexican restaurant, bowl of chicken soup with no rice. Chinese restaurant, seafood soup. Why did I put this and you've never seen me put this before? Because lately I've had to improvise and adapt because we haven't had time to cook. 
And I've been doing Uber Eats and getting Chinese soup, and it's awesome. Helped me get to my lowest weight ever. Chinese seafood soup, Chinese hot and sour soup. Any other restaurant, you can have a green salad only with one to three tablespoons of hemp hearts or hemp flakes. Again, this is the detox meal plan. If you're not doing the detox, you're going to have a lot more options. Yes, you can exchange regular hemp flakes for the sweet ones or vice versa. Dinner, eat air, kettle and fire, zero fat, one to two packages of any health-wise high-protein soup, AHS mac and cheese with, this time for dinner, we're adding some protein with three ounces of tuna, chicken, or beef. Two packages of AHS cheesesteak again. Any, and here's your, here, this opens up all kind of variety for dinner. Any four to six ounces of category one or seven with one cup of category two fibrous carb. Now that opens up a ton of variety, doesn't it? If you don't want to do hemp flakes, I'm trying to think of another vegan. Uh, You could do chia seed. You could do flax seed. Or choose another option because there's so many other options. No problem. Yeah, anytime before the challenge begins, not during, if you're not having enough variety, let me take that back. That was the wrong way to put that. If you can't find at least three breakfasts, three lunches, three dinners, then you need to reach out to me so that I can help you with your budget, with your creativity. Solid Gold is a master at meal idea creativity. And so are y'all. Y'all help build this program. Any four to six ounces of category one or seven with one cup of category two fibrous carb, that would be. Now, I'll put this in class notes. This, this is important. This is important. Any four to six ounces of category one or seven, so chicken breast, turkey breast, London broil, pork tenderloin, shrimp, crab, scallops, any lean protein, lobster, absolutely. Now, stay with me. Where it says any, any, a cup of category two fibrous carbs that does not include category two bread for the detox. No bread during the detox. Can't do bread during the detox. Is y'all with me? Get that permagrin on your face. I want you to be finer than frog hair by the time this is over. Finer than frog hair and ain't near as dusty. All right, moving on. Restaurants. Oh, uh, any four to six ounces of category one or seven with one to three tablespoons of hemp hearts or hemp flakes. That would look like my shrimp sauteed in ghee or MCT, and then I put some hemp flakes or hemp hearts on it. Salmon and broccoli would be excellent on a portion plate. Restaurant. Any restaurant you go to during the detox, we're going to play it ultra safe. You can have four ounces of unbreaded meat only. Just for fun. I want, I, want, I want to see you just tell that little waitress, I can't have none of that. All I can have is the meat. They cook with non-MCT fat, so I want to save some calories when you're eating at a restaurant. Chick-fil-A, 12 grilled chicken nuggets. Mexican restaurant, bowl of chicken soup, no rice, or your Chinese seafood soup, Chinese hot and sour soup. Other restaurants, any other restaurant, you can have a green salad only with one to three tablespoons of hemp hearts or hemp flakes for the detox. Any questions about the general meal plan? Sorry, this is taking long. I had too much fun in the beginning. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We got nothing else to do but watch Netflix. Rather be here with me. All right. 
Can I have tomatoes and red onions on the salad? You a rule breaker, baby. You do what you want to do. It's groovy with me. Is it groovy with y'all if Vicky adds tomatoes and red onions, even though they're not listed? It's groovy. It's groovy. If she, if baby want to be a rule breaker, she can be a rule breaker. I like rule breakers. <laughs> You get out of it what you put into it, baby. All right. So that you can shop. Bear with me. I'll, I'll, get, I'll try my best to get to all these questions. So that you can shop. So that you can shop. Listen, so that you can shop. There's going to be, get ready. Are y'all familiar with wow challenges? Yes, Betty, you can do that. Yes, ma'am. There's going to be, you remember when we did the Jack Wow Challenges? I'm doing some groovy, get your groove back Wow Challenges that you get extra credit for, baby. So these Wow Challenges are going to be fun. And in the special instructions, it might even say to complete it that you have to do, you have to dance in front of the camera and share it in the group for a certain amount of time. <laughs> Ooh wee. I have this on the for a group for a certain amount of time. Okay, Siri. So here's the ingredients that you'll find on the Groove Wow Challenges. Breakfast, high-protein cappuccino. You won't see them till Monday, so I'm going ahead and giving you a, a head start. High-protein cappuccino, kettle and fire bone broth, four sigmatic coffee, spark, happy juice, health-wise high-protein hot chocolate, bio coffee with health-wise hot chocolate or cocoa ringa or, of course, eat air. Lunch, kettle and fire bone broth, up 200 calories, health-wise high-protein soup, leafy greens with hemp flakes or hemp hearts. Again, this is for the detox. Chinese seafood soup, Chinese hot and sour soup, Mexican chicken soup with no rice, Wendy's chili. For dinner, four ounces of category one lean protein with a half up to one cup of category two veggies. Four ounces of category one lean protein with one to three tablespoons of hemp flakes or hemp hearts. And category seven, the same thing, et cetera, et cetera. This is what I will take to make some very strict Detox wow challenges. No, wow challenges are not required. They're very strict. You should consult your physician before you do them. They are exercise self-discipline challenges. Concerning kettle and fire bone broth, people ask this a lot. I thought I would be pro proactive. If you're having kettle and fire bone broth early in the day, do not add any meat. For dinner sometime to have a more robust meal, I will add 96% lean ground beef to my bone broth. I will add two ounces of cooked shrimp to it. I love the texture, adding that texture. Kettle and fire bone broth with three tablespoons of hemp hearts or hemp flakes. These are fantastic detox meals that blow torch fat off the body. Vicky, Sigmatic, Four Sigmatic coffee is basically a lion's mane mushroom-based coffee. It's delicious and it's good for your brain. It makes your brain grow. Next, a real big deal to me during a detox. Yes, egg whites and egg beaters are the same. A real big deal for me in my personal detox, when I'm doing a detox or doing a training wheel fast, I eat lots of health-wise high-protein soup. So any time that you replace any meal during a weight loss challenge or trying to break through plateaus, any time you replace it with high-protein soup, you've got an advantage. It's basically like not eating, but you're eating. It's basically like fasting. There's nothing in there that turns to fat. So it's like the perfect training wheel fast food, the health-wise high-protein soups. If you're starting with the metabolic boost, we're switching gears now. Is everybody ready to switch gears? 
We're switching gears. We're almost done because everything else I think will be covered in class notes. Breakfast, again, very similar, but some differences. If we're only doing the metabolic boost or when you get done with the detox, we go into metabolic boost. Is there anybody doing more than one round with me? Is anybody doing the full four weeks with me? I'm talking about 20 to 30 pounds of weight loss if you do it right. For most people, unless you don't have any weight to lose. I have no weight left to lose. That feels so good to say. But I'll probably lose at least 10 pounds easily. I'll be shredded. Glory to God. Come go with me. All right. So eat air. Then you've got this, some of the same stuff we've already talked about, but I've added some stuff. Two to three whole eggs cooked in Pam. Who can't do that? Two whole eggs with one tablespoon of hemp hearts or hemp flakes. Advanced health system pancakes, two packages. That was already in there. Two whole eggs and a carb quick biscuit. Carb quick biscuit and boar's head ham. I will, Sasha will make me up a lot of biscuits that I'll keep in the fridge and I'll be cracking those babies out and throwing me some boar's head maple glazed ham on it, London broil on it, good old ham and biscuit, chicken and biscuit. I'll be doing that a lot during my metabolic boost. I love doing that during the metabolic boost. Low fat cottage cheese, one cup of, uh, you have, can have one cup of that with some cinnamon if you'd like. Greek plain yogurt, triple zero flavored yogurts, an approved shake, or a third of a hemp bar. Does everybody see two or three foods there that they could adhere to for a week? It's only five days, y'all. Lunch and dinner. More of the same, but there's more stuff added as well. We added a Mighty Muffin, a Shibola protein bar, and then some grocery store foods. 97% Lean Hebrew National Frank, two with a condiment. I do that all the time. I have me two weenies with some ketchup. Anybody else do that? I'm on a budget, y'all. Right before COVID, we was getting eat out all the time, eat lobster and stuff. After COVID, our butts stay in the house. <laughs> we be eating some weenies. We go buy some weenies and some toilet paper, and it's a hundred dollars. <laughs> Ain't y'all glad that we can do Shibola budget friendly if we want to? 97% lean Hebrew National Franks with sauerkraut. Two to four ounces of London broil with sauerkraut. I love London broil. Here's a hack if you like sauerkraut. I love to take my London broil, about four ounces, saute it in MCT oil, throw some sauerkraut, get it warm and hot, and then put some mustard in there. That's good. You can have approved nuts and more on an approved tortilla, but the tortilla has to be 50 calorie or less. Wendy's chili, four ounces of fish with category two vegetables. That covers restaurants, that covers home. Four ounces of chicken breast with category two vegetable. Seafood slimming soup. Pinto's and perfect cornbread recipe. Any category one or seven lean protein with a quarter cup of fiber gourmet rice pasta. So if you've not had the fiber gourmet rice pasta, delicious. It's like rice. So I have my lean meat on one side of my portion plate. Could y'all see me? I can't see me. On my portion plate. One side of my portion plate is my lean meat. And then on the other side of that plate is that fiber gourmet rice. We've been doing that a lot and it's delicious. So four ounces of fish with category two vegetable, four ounces of chicken breast with category two vegetable. We then went over that. Sorry, my, I can't see through these beautiful sunglasses. 
Any category one or seven lean protein with a half a cup up to one cup of a category two vegetable. So could I have some sauteed cod or chicken breast and then have a cup of squash? Yes, Sheila, these will all be in your meal planning section and I will send class notes. Any negative two or negative three Shibola approved recipe. What does that cover? How, how many options did we just open the door to for lunch and dinner? Any negative two or negative by Tammy. Sorry, I went so long. Negative two or negative three Shibola approved recipe. That opens up everything. But here's the key. It must be negative two or negative three on the weight loss meter and you must use a portion control instrument or you will overeat and you will not see the results that we're talking about. If you're in a tight, because I will be, uh, one of these weeks I will be traveling a lot for business. Guess where I'll be stopping? McDonald's. So McDonald's quarter pounder without their bread. or four to six ounces of any category four protein plus fat by itself. Does that mean I could go somewhere and get a steak, four to six, eat four to six ounces of steak? Yes, and I'm gonna boost the heck out of my metabolism because I'm also taking my metabolic nutrition system Delta, which has got everything I need after my detox to ramp up my metabolism again, along with all these great macronutrient dense foods. Now I know I went a long time, but I was trying to whet your appetite. Have I succeeded? Are y'all ready to do your best for a week? I've got questions lined up here. I'm gonna start. Is this recorded to watch later? Yes, you'll also get it tomorrow. I don't have a smartwatch. I go to the gym every day and do treadmill 20 to 30 minutes. If you're doing that religiously, then you can count that 30 minutes as 3,500 steps. 3,500 steps per 30 minutes. Will Fitbit eliminating challenges? Will we have to manually start entering steps? Yes. You, you'll have to manually enter your steps if you don't have a Fitbit. Every mile you can count 2,000 steps. How much pounds can we lose if we don't do the detox? It's up to your effort. It's up to your effort. Minimal weight loss should be 1% of your beginning body weight. Exceptional weight loss, which most of us will achieve because we're not gonna be rule breakers, would be 10% of your body weight with ease. Two rounds of the detox for five days at a time. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. You can do 10 days straight, but I'm going to do five days next week and then five days the next week of just the detox. If we eat air, is there a certain brand of air we eat? Do we need to portion control it? No, air is a freebie. You may eat as much air as you want to. Amanda, I have the hemp heart crumbles from the shibby shop. Is that a yes or no? Yes, that will be on the list. We did not go over that tonight, but there are several wow challenges that will use hemp heart crumbles. Is the Delta from the Shibola store? It is not. A lot of Malava in there could give you the link, but the best thing to do, if you're not going to do the kits, the, if you're not going to do the bulk kit, the best place to go do your shopping you might want to do two-day shipping. I've got a deal for those that remain. For those that remain, I've got a deal. Bear with me. www.blowtorchfat.com. So I should make sure it has the 1108887. So blowtorchfat.com. And, and then I know you're my customer. I know what you got. If you have questions, I can go and look, et cetera. Does the fiber packet count as an eating episode? Not for this challenge, it does not. It does not count as an eating episode for the challenge. Okay, lastly, lastly, listen carefully. Don't miss out. 
can't make any promises, can't tell you anything other than people will tell you they're usually happy with me when they do this. If you order through www.blowtorchfat.com or any of the links Sasha gave out, send that email to me. Send that email to me. I will email you back. You have to give me at least 24 hours, so do your planning. I will email you back a very sweet thank you that you will be happy with, but you must email me your electronic receipt from AdvoCare to TravisJack777 at gmail.com. I will, I will return a very sweet and kind email that you will be glad that you got. This is not an AdvoCare thing. This is a Travis thing. So don't call them. They are a direct distributor. They are not MLM. Uh, I am a long-term distributor of AdvoCare and one of their leaders in their organization. But you still have to go through them. But then if you forward me your receipt, your electronic receipt, I'll reply within 24 hours, the sweetest email. Is that understood, everybody? You might like what you get back. You might not. I don't know. All right. Any other questions before we go tonight? My son wants to know if using air freshener adds calories to our air and do we count that as a condiment? Depends on the chemicals in the air freshener. It may cause you to bah, croak. Your eyeballs may bulge out and you may croak. Don't get in any Johnny Bowl toilet cleaner either. Uh, Darla, could you expound on that for the whole kit? I missed something. Could you expound on that? Any AdvoCare item. I do get that many of you are with me. We're all AdvoCare folks. And you may already have a lot of this in your cabinet. No use in ordering stuff that you don't need. Uh, but if you order Spark or whatever it is, it's not just the kit. I just want to let my AdvoCare folks know I appreciate them. And in addition to that, if y'all have noticed, I've really ramped up my activity and I've been very consistent. We're about to start uh, a transformation group for my AdvoCare customers, just for them. Meal planning for AdvoCare customers only. So it helps. about transformation. If we can't get the kit by Monday because of shopping estimates delivered to I'm in the same boat. So I do two day shipping. If I don't get it, I still start with the detox on Monday. I'm still starting with the detox food list and then when my stuff comes in, I'll be on it. Uh, I ordered one kit. Sasha and I are both doing it. So I got to order another kit too. I forgot. I didn't ask her if she would, she's doing it too. So I get it, but we'll start on Monday. And then when we get our stuff, we'll get started on it. We won't miss it. We won't miss anything because we're going to go through all of our product. I have the 24 day thing. If I want to get just the detox stuff, and have on hand after my cruise, can I order that? You can, certainly. I believe in the four pillars of wellness. I believe you can look good in your clothes with faith and good nutrition. I believe you can look good naked with faith, nutrition, exercise, and supplementation. It's up to you. You decide which, which route you want to go. And that doesn't mean you have to want to look good naked today 
you may get to a place where you look good in your clothes and then want to add the other two components of wellness. The class notes will end up probably in your spam folder, but I will be texting you as well. It's very important. Let me close with this. For you to get the most out of the accountability part of this, when you get the class notes, there are objectives. The more of those objectives you do, the more I can reach out and touch you during the week. Does that make sense? There's a support group. I'll be sending support text. You might not want it, but there's even an option for you to start your day with a voicemail from me, solid gold. But you may not want that. It may be a, a nuisance to you. But the more of that stuff you sign up for, the more I can saturate you during the week and keep your goals top of consciousness. Not everybody's going to want to hear my voice on their vo voicemail trying to pump them up when they get out of bed the next morning. Some of you might want to do without that. How do we sign up? We'll all be in your class notes. To give you an idea, though, what you'll be doing, uh, Sasha's going to be working probably until 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning on this stuff. So, by the way, we do take tips. We do take tips, everyone. We take tips. We serve you well. We take tips. That's how we keep the lights on. So, You'll end up, you'll see it in class notes, but you'll go to the challenge tab. And then you'll see that there's a group challenge, the Shibboleth Groove right here. This is where you'll sign up. Now, once you get in there, everything you need in the challenge resources is not there yet. That will start showing up soon. Everything we talked about tonight will be right here. That way, when I make updates, you can find the updates there so that you, you're not missing an email or a text. You just keep going back to your dashboard and you can see any notes. Uh, if somebody in the group got in trouble, you can see that Charles got in trouble and there's a penalty. So that's where you'll go to see what's going on with the other challenge members. She's, she's just, a lot of Maleva just said she's working on it hard. I heard you. I was just covering for you. <laughs> uh, if y'all can only be a fly on the wall. Any other questions? <laughs> You changed up throughout. You you had a lot of changes there at the end, Mister. So no, I'm working on adding those foods. But for now, that PowerPoint is there, so they can download that to review it if they need it before. Okay. All right, babe. Any final questions before we go?
Bye, everyone. We love y'all so much. Yeah, baby. I got to go watch some Austin Powers. Believe it or not, I've never seen the movie, y'all. Never watched it. I always thought the, the stuff was cool. I've seen some clips and stuff. It might be the nastiest movie ever, but I don't judge anybody. I, I just want to have some fun. We take this stuff way too serious, don't we? Well, listen, in the name of Jesus, 100 years from now, none of this is going to matter. None of it. What's really important is the happiness that we live our lives with and the trust that we put in Jesus. Let's drop judgment, guilt, regret, and shame. Let's have a ball next week and just dance all week and have a good time. Get yourself on some film. Put it in the group dancing. Have fun. We're going to have fun with it. We're going to get our mind off of our troubles for a while. We've got a lot of them. So I'd like for this to be a really lighthearted challenge and us all have a ball. So looking forward to it. Bear with me tomorrow. I'll work really hard to get you the class notes and links. I'll text them out and I'll email them. Please remember, Sasha and I, uh, we do take tips. You can go to www.helpshaboleth.com. And uh, you never have to give us a dime. We're still going to love you. But if God leads you to do so, we sure appreciate it. Good night, everybody, and God bless you. Hey, Arlen. Bye, Arlen. Let's do it, Arlen. Woo. <laughs> uh, I love Arlen. Good to have Arlen tonight. Bye, everybody. See you later.